Hello and welcome to rchacker.com. I've got here my uh, mini tricopter. Now I've added a few things to it. I've added my um, FPV gear. I've got a, a, the uh, transmitter there and the power module and the camera on the front there. And this has added about oh, about 60 grams to the weight. So, And after the repairs I'm just going to do a little, little um, test flight to uh, make sure it's all good before I start learning FPV so let's go alright she's armed Now I am running it on three cells here because my FPV gear needs three cells to run. But, and that problem I had with the other motor, I think it's gone away. I'm not sure what it was, maybe it was a bit of water in it or something like that. Because all my circuitry on this is exposed. Uh, given the moisture here, quite often I'll crash it in the grass and rather than waiting for it to dry out, I'll just, just fly it again. Now I'm going to turn the auto level on here. It's auto level on. Ooh, a bit of a bounce. It doesn't like landing. With the auto level on, it really finds it. It really doesn't like landing with the auto level on. Let's try it again. Yeah, okay. It's auto level off again. A little bit of a jitter when, it, when you recover from a descent.
car. If we saw that, that motor just, just having a twitch there, just a little. There it is, there it is again. This is a problem. And I'm not sure what it's causing this. It's just a little jitter. The worst thing is it's intermittent, so. I'm gonna have to. I really don't know how I'm gonna troubleshoot this. I've got one battery warning coming up on my radio now. Okay, that's my battery done. So there you go, I've still got, I had a couple of jitters in one of the motors, and now turn my receiver off. Whee! Ah, that's fail safe. That's my fail safe mode there. So I'd set the FR Sky, uh, receiver up just to give a a sort of a um, quarter a little bit less than half throttle as a fail safe I might actually make that self fail safe as a absolute zero you know but um now I think this was the ESC that was jittering hopefully we can see me there So this was the motor and the ESC that was jittering a little bit during that flight. It's not moving or anything and I've got... Maybe I've got a loose signal pin or something. Anyway, something to look into. But I think, I think I'm ready to start experimenting with FPV. So... Um, there we go. Watch this space. I should also note as well that the uh, battery life on that, I had it, uh, it was about half charged because I'd already been doing a few hover tests inside. So that's not the complete battery life that you get out of this. I should be able to get about 12 minutes out of this thing, hopefully. Uh, cross fingers. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Auto level on. Is it? Does it stay level? Yeah. Default settings will take that too.